Potatoes, which cook the longest. Garlic, which cooks from the longest. Crushed Chinese red pepper, whole crab boil, lemon and celery, powder, and then just a generic seasoning blend. We season this water heavier than we do with crawfish because <clears throat> they take longer to soak and the shells are bigger. I use liquid crab boil with crabs, not with crawfish. So, you know, three, four ounces. And then a legitimate handful of bay leaves. Again, to give that like kind of floral, aromatic smell as opposed to just heat and salt. That's it, you get that started, bring that up to a boil. When your potatoes are fork tender, you're ready for the next step. After you turn off the heat, and then you kind of add your aromatics. You started with you know, your spice and your salt to get the potatoes and whatnot cooked. Then you add your things that are gonna make the water taste un not just like salt and pepper. So celery, for us, we use celery, lemon, and oranges. The sausage we'll add later after the crabs actually cook. So we add that, now we're gonna add the crabs and bring it up. Importantly, we're putting them back into warm water, not rolling boiling water. That's for yourself and for the crabs. If you put the crabs into rolling, rolling boiling water, you'll have a better chance of shooting off the claws. Then same thing as crawfish. We're gonna wanna, I'm gonna get all our sausage and mushrooms and corn. Light it back up. All right. Now we've soaked for 45 minutes or an hour, depending on the size of your crabs. We're gonna take them out, let them drain for a minute, just like you would crawfish or anything else. Kinda let them rest on the side, so you don't get your feet all wet. Put them down, grab a beer, we'll throw them on the table. I'm Justin LeBlanc from Bevy Seafood, come see us.